Greetings ladies and gentlemen. So some of you have asked me to demonstrate how to add ships to the Space Sim Framework. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to add a completely new ship that I just modeled here for the purposes of this tutorial to the Space Sim Framework asset. All right, so let's do this. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the start scenario scene. And we're going to go into prefabs, uh, space object ships, and I'm going to take an existing ship just as a template, as an example. So for example, here we have the Wolfhound Freighter, which is going to be this ship of similar size to the one that we're actually adding. Okay, so let's find a new model. This is called Prometheus, and I'm going to use the FBX model here. I'm just going to drag and drop it under this, scale it properly, rotate it properly, and okay, this is good. Okay, now we don't need the old model anymore, so we can delete it. Okay, let's just unlink this, unpack, okay. Uh, let's also delete the colliders that we have from the old model. That's right, perfect, okay. And now what we need is a mesh collider and I'm gonna make it convex because Unity has problems with the problems with the um, collision system on non-static objects. Uh, so if this is kind of like a problem to you that this is going to be a collider, what you can do is you can make a low poly model made up of a few convex parts and then you can add colliders to each one of them to avoid like to avoid this happening basically so I could have made this smaller part down there a separate model and then make this a large cylinder model so that when I put two convex mesh colliders there is space here but for this for the purposes of this tutorial it doesn't really matter so I'm not gonna get into that too much right now Okay, so now uh, we need to move this mesh collider to the root component here. And that we're gonna do by copying the component, removing it here, and we're gonna paste it here as a new component. Okay, perfect, that looks very good. Now the second thing we wanna do is we actually wanna increase the mass of this ship to, so let's say 1300. The nice thing you want to do is we want to make sure that the trail renders are exactly where the engines are. So for example, I am going to put them right here in the engine and I'm going to take this component and I'm going to paste the values here and I'm going to make sure that the x-axis is on a minus, so that this is symmetrical. Okay, perfect. Nice thing. We want our ship to have some guns. So let's put this turret. You can actually just, just drag and drop these from a prefab. But I wanted to have one turret top side, so that's kind of like a top turret, which will have a, let's make it a bit like this, okay. So this one will have a 360 firing arc. So do not limit Travers. We're gonna make it like flush, like so. Okay, perfect. A bit higher actually it needs to go. Okay, that's good. And we're gonna make it so that it cannot depress, but it can elevate to... Okay, uh, the rotation is incorrect, so uh, that's perfect. Okay, so for facing turret, which can rotate 180 degrees and can elevate to 70 degrees. And we're going to take the top turret, what was previously the top turret, and we're going to put it underneath the ship, like so. You can play around with these turrets, they're pretty easy to... They're pretty easy to move around, so I'm going to make this forward facing, but I'm going to rotate it on the z-axis by 180 degrees so that it's kind of upside down like this. Again, 
do not limit the traverse. I want it to be a 360 turn. And I think this looks about right. Let's move it a bit forward, like so. Perfect. So it's going to have two turrets, and I want to have four guns. So I'm going to use the gun hard points here. And we are actually going to put them. Okay. We're actually going to. P okay, come on. To put them. Uh, wrong one. One is going to be like so, rotated to zero. Okay, to 90 degrees. The other one we don't need. Okay, so gun hard point one, gun hard point two is going to be on the bottom side of the ship. And then we're just going to copy these two and mirror them. So minus, and I'm going to say minus 90. That's perfect. Perfectly adequate. And I'm going to make sure that once I test these guns, uh, I'm going to put a bit of a stronger weapon on them, so gunboat lasers. And in these we can leave pink photon pulses. Okay, so that's the model basically set up. Um, the next thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that this model info is copied. And we're gonna call this Prometheus. Perfect. And it's going to be called the Prometheus. It does use external docking. The camera offset seems a bit f about fine. Uh, the cost will be I don't know seventeen thousand. Seems perfectly fine. Max armor. Uh, since this is kind of a gunboat, I'm gonna make it forty two hundred. Generator power. Let's make it. 2500. Regen, let's make it 700. You can tweak these numbers. Um, the cargo size, I don't know, 100 maybe? And I want to make sure that it... Okay, so these numbers, this is forward thrust. No, sorry, this is forward thrust. This is side, like side strafing thrust. So I'm gonna make sure that this is a bit more, so 1300. And the angular force, this is the roll. I want to make sure that it rolls really nicely. So, for example, 200. And the angular force, uh, I don't know, we'll put it to 1900. Okay, so that seems a bit right. And we're gonna rename this to Prometheus. And I'm gonna drag and drop this new model info here. And that's kind of about it, as far as I can tell. So let's make sure that this one, okay, um, we have to save this as a prefab, so let's, okay, no, 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 wait, I forgot one more thing, and that's to fix the whole material on this thing. So I'm going to make, uh, this whole material, okay, whole texture, and I'm gonna make sure that it has a metallic, and that's going to, going to be the, uh, where is it, specular map, also normal map, also height map, also the ambient occlusion map, and the emission map. Perfect. Um, so, this needs to be fixed, much less so, and I don't want it to be so shiny, so I want it to be kind of like this. I think this looks pretty nice right now. Yes, I definitely like the way this looks. Okay, um, so that's kind of it. Let's save this model and let's see if it flies. Save it here. I'm gonna leave this one to player control, and the last thing that we need to do is we need to add this model to the object factory because all of the ships are here, and this will be the tenth model. Prometheus, uh, this is the one under prefabs. Where is it? 
But anyway, the ship needs to be added to the object factory. And also to the icon manager, but I'm not going to bother with this. It'll work even without it, without the icon. But okay, let's let's see if this let's see if this is good. Oh. Yes, I forgot one thing. Uh, this, if you want to fly it right away, you need to put it under player, and you need to remove the big ship and player ships. Yes, this this will get populated automatically. So let's see. Okay, here we are. This is the ship that we've added. Still rolls terribly badly, but otherwise I like the way this looks, and that about concludes our tutorial. Does it shoot? Oh shit, yes it shoots. Let's blow something up with this.